Hello everybody, Carolyn here today. I am doing another sorting new photo cards in my binder video. I'm always super excited for these videos, but I'm extra excited today because I was just thinking about it and this feels like the first real sorting photo cards video I have done in 2024 and it feels great. So as you can see, I have my full nine section thing here today um which is the first time i'm pretty sure all year i have had this we have monster x photo cards today we have a bunch of different groups to put away today txt made their comeback and i went and bought some albums from Target yesterday, the unboxing is currently uploading as I film this. I don't have my Weavers version or my Lights version yet, but we have the photo book versions and Target cards. So it's gonna be a fun time. We have some ZP1 cards today. Um, I recently shipped a Poke Market package which has had things sitting at the Poke Market Warehouse since literally December of last year, January of this year. Um, so it all just feels good in the world today for this. I did miss last week, and the reason I missed last week was because my Poke Market package did not arrive on Friday like I thought it was going to, um, and ended up arriving on Sunday or Monday, something like that. So I really wanted that package to come in before I filmed this just because I have been a little slow at the trading and buying game so far this year. I feel like this is going to be the change of like the the transition. We're going to get back into buying a lot of photo cards and a lot of albums are coming out. There's so many comebacks coming. I've had a pretty slow start to collecting again this year. Um, I did go on buying hiatus in December or I think it was like November it was like right before Stray Kids has come back I went on a buying hiatus um, and then I bought like season's greetings and stuff I had like a lot of changes at the beginning of this year I got a new job just a couple of other things had popped up and I was super busy in February so I didn't really post a lot of content and then March I had midterms and then I had another set of midterms this past week and I got sick in March and I just feel like it's been a crazy start to the year but I took my last hardest exam earlier this week and I I had to get a certain score so that I wouldn't have to take the cumulative final which means that I just have like section threes um, exams for this course and then I'm done with the course like I don't need to do the final exam. So I was studying really hard for that. So last week I ended up posting a week in the life of a group order manager video instead of a sorting photo card video because um, I didn't have the package and also I just needed to take that time to study for this exam. So that come end of April, I can be done with school and just like enjoy my summer and I won't have to like take exams three weeks in a row, which would have been the case if I had not scored well on this exam, but I'm happy to report that I did get above what I needed. So I'm excited. Don't take biochemistry and anatomy and physiology too at the same time. It's just been rough on top of my other courses. So anyways, all that being said, I do appreciate your patience with me this year so far and I do hope that with all the upcoming comebacks and all of the upcoming free time I'm going to have, oh my gosh that feels crazy to say, free time. When do I have free time? Never. I'm hoping that I can be able to post more content for you guys. I really would love to get back to posting at least twice a week on this channel and then at least once a week on my second channel and that was kind of my goal at the beginning of this year and I just have not been able to do that. It was one of my new year's resolutions so it's okay. We're gonna start in April doing that. But yeah, I'm really excited and I really appreciate you guys for being here and enjoying my content and being excited when I do upload. I love seeing your guys' comments even though I don't always have time to reply to everybody. Um, I do love reading your comments so I appreciate you so much. Anyways, with all that being said, let's get into the video. As always, timestamps will be down below. Um, if you want to click around and watch different collections and you don't want to watch everything, that's totally fine. Also, everything that I use will be linked in my card. I keep forgetting to add my tripod, so I'll do it before I upload this video because I've had a couple people ask recently again for my tripod and I thought that I'd uploaded it, but I don't think I saved it. So I think I posted the link, but I didn't update the card. Um, so I will do that before posting this video. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video. I'm super excited. I have been making some crazy progress on some collections recently, and I'm just looking forward to kind of getting back 
to normalcy. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I don't like starting with a group that recently made a comeback. I like to save those for the end of the video, but this is actually the only mini binder I have photo cards for today. So we're gonna go ahead and get into the TXT my collection binder. I did set up for this in a video and I just ran out of time to edit it. So um, I did set up for other comebacks in that video that are not going to be put away in this video. So I will just reuse those clips um, for the next um, binder maintenance video. Um, hopefully you guys don't mind about that, but I set up for like NCT Dream and Changyun as well um, and ZB1's Japanese release, but I don't have cards for any of those three releases today so i will post a binder maintenance video um next sorting photo card video because i should have a bunch of stuff for that but anyways i said in that video <laughs> that my txt binder is kind of exploding i need to get a deluxe my collections binder for my txt collection but i think their shop is currently closed um, I don't know when they plan on reopening, but when they do, I do really want to upgrade my TXT binder. But yeah, when the shop reopens, I do really want to upgrade my TXT binder to a deluxe my collection binder because we are out of space here. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I did buy five copies of TXT's album from Target yesterday. I do actually have one older card, so let's do that first. Um, as you guys know, I did complete Yunjun's older cards. I have collected him and then I downsized right around like blue hour era and I stopped collecting him and then I picked him up again, literally like the next era. <laughs> um, and cause I really did miss my Yunjun collection and I really love it. So anyways, I did set up for this album. There really isn't anything too crazy going on here. Okay, so let's go back here so previously i accidentally traded for two of the same weavers b cards so i did end up getting the correct one also i had my nails done and then i've currently being influenced by tiktok to start doing my own nails at home so i did take my nails off they look a little crazy right now because i haven't taken my like dip powder nails off in a long time um also this looks so good oh my gosh so Yay, happy I finished that. I don't know what to do with these two spaces here. I'll probably just save it for additional group cards. The new Weavers, the newest albums Weavers versions come with group cards as well. So maybe I'll put those there. Being convinced that I can do um, this by myself. <laughs> so I haven't taken my own nails off in quite a while so they do look a little crazy today but I'm gonna start doing gel X nails actually. I've tried to do my own dip powder at home before and I don't really love the way that it turns out. I'm not very good at it. So we're attempting Gel X recently because that's been all over my For You page. So if you do Gel X nails at home, let me know if you have any tips or anything because I am starting to do it on my own. So yeah, I'm just kind of tired of paying for my nails every like three weeks. So I'm going to start doing it at home. But anyways, so TXT, four album cards technically, including the light version, um, and then four Weavers cards again. I did pull two of Yeonjun's cards in my albums, which is very exciting. I did buy his version from Oh Soul Happy, which is one of the local K-pop stores in Charlotte. I pre-ordered with them. Um, they usually get some pretty fun like pre-order benefits, especially for Hive groups. And so I pre-ordered my Weavers version and my light version with them. Hopefully I pull Yeonjun in my light version, but they haven't gotten the albums in yet. They'll probably get them in like sometime early next week. Anyways, so we will go ahead and put these away. So I have his romantic and also his promise version card. I will be posting my trades later today for the remaining txt cards that i have besides like these i'm just gonna do like my photo book and my target cards um that's incorrect so yeah but oh i love that card so much i'm so happy i pulled it and then his promise card yay i know that there's a glare on that side of the page but yay happy to have that and then moving back here so i always keep yunjun's target cards separate i don't know if it's gonna work out this time because they are doing hearts and yunjun and subin are like like a perfect match for the hearts so i don't know we might reorganize this once i get the other two heart cards in um i don't have bumgyu or 
Taehyun, so I need to trade for both of them, but I did pull three members. But for today, I'm gonna put Yeonjun here. And then I have two extra spots here because I, I don't wanna talk about it, but I might end up with some blue <laughs> Weavers Kai cards. Um, also, none of my three local K-pop stores are getting the kit version in. Only two of the stores that are in Charlotte, you can see like what they have in stock and what's on pre-order. So I don't know if the third K-pop store is getting the kit version, but like Oh So Happy isn't or wasn't on pre-order and um, Jute Music isn't. So I don't know what's happening with that, but yeah, hopefully one of my local stores gets that. And then I'm just going to put like, I'm going to put Subin here. I mean, this is where I would put Subin anyways. I collect OT5 for Target, if you don't know, because I think it's really fun. And also I love every single member of TXT. So it gives me like a little way to collect more cards. I think I'm gonna put Kai here and Taehyun here. I can't remember which direction Taehyun has his heart. And I'm gonna put Kai here and then we can kind of reorganize it as I get the other two cards. And hopefully I'm able to trade for Bamyu and Taehyun pretty easily. I have an extra Subin and Kai, so hopefully I can trade those. And then, okay, now back here. Also, I didn't buy any signed albums this time, so there won't be any signed albums coming in. Um, but I did pull one of Yeonjun's stickers. I don't know if I want to collect all of his stickers, but I do have this one at least. So I might put this here for right now and just like kind of go from there, I guess. I don't know if I'm gonna collect it, like I said, but I wanted to at least store that. Um, I do plan on storing his postcards from this album, but I didn't pull any of his cards. I pulled a lot of <laughs> a lot of Bumgyu and um, Subin, so if you'd like to trade for Yeonjun, please check out my trade sale Instagram. Um, but yeah, that is it for TXT today. In this overflowing binder, I need to get a new one. Hopefully the US, I think that um, Prism Platinum is transitioning US warehouses and that's why the store is closed. So hopefully the transition goes smoothly and then they're able to open up the shop again and I'm able to get a new TXT binder because yeah, I don't know what I'll put in this binder. I'll find something. I always find something. <laughs> okay, next we're gonna do a tease because I just have a couple of cards for them today. We're kind of in a weird in-between um, eras period with ATs so and I don't collect like a lot of non-album for ATs but let's go back here I think I am still missing both of these cards still so if anybody has some or you know as Barnes and Noble exclusive cards um please let me know this one I think I was supposed to get this one in a trade but it hasn't arrived yet so I'm wondering if it got lost in the mail um, but anyways, moving back here. So I don't know what's happening with this page, but basically, well, this I bought on Poker Market because I was missing it and I wasn't able to find a trade for it. So I just like went and bought it on Poker Market. It was pretty cheap. I don't usually buy ATs on Poker Market, but this card wasn't that expensive. So this is the Polaroid 2 card. And then the platform image card I ended up getting from Makari Japan, which is coming in my Bayi order. I don't know. I'm waiting on like two or three more things to arrive to the warehouse before I ship it. But also like some things have been sitting there since January. <laughs> so the fees on it are not going to be fun. Um, I'm usually pretty good about not getting fees on things, but it's just been a crazy year so far. So whatever, it's fine. But that card is there. But I think I was supposed to get this from somewhere because I had it marked off and I just in it but anyways so that's that and then I also have you knows um his a sticker so I'm gonna go and put this away I don't know if I was supposed to get Hong Jung from somebody and I just didn't or what happened with that but if you have Hong Jung's platform sticker um do let me know message me on Instagram because April is going to be a big month of like trying to fill out collections and finish things and get caught up before like the I've come back and the 17 come back and the ZB1 come back and the Stray Kids come back. I'm a little stressed if you can't tell, <laughs> but it's going to be fine because we're going to spend April catching up on things. But yeah, so there's that. That's the only thing I'm missing from AT still is that one sticker. So if you have it, please, please let me know. Message me on my trade sale Instagram. 
Um, and I think that's it. I don't think I have any like larger inclusions. Let me double check. No, all my larger inclusions are for girl groups today. So nope, that's it for ATs. Like I said, pretty short, sweet to the point. Um, I don't have anything for Rise either, though I think Rise are planning a comeback too. So that's exciting. I'm excited to collect more Sung Chan for that, but um, I'm all caught up on him for the time being. So yeah, we're gonna do Monstax next. I have stuff for the Kihan binder and the Chungyun binder today. We'll do Chungyun first. His new album, by the way, is actually incredible. It is so, so good and I'm so proud of him. And yeah, I just like cannot wait to get my copies in the mail. <laughs> I didn't buy unboxing copies because he had so many pre-order cards that I was just like, I just forgot to buy um, copies. I don't know if any of my local K-pop stores are going to get his album because none of them have it listed on their site. I'm hoping I'm wrong and they get them because because I really want to buy Chungyun's album. Um, but I also have a Korean address package that I'm probably going to ship some point in April. I have a couple of things still coming to it from Chungyun's album, but I really want to have some Chungyun cards for the next sorting photo card video. So we'll see. Um, but I have some I've merch coming too in April. I need to double check the dates for that. But yeah, the only thing that's been there is my Monstex DVDs all year. So I haven't shipped it because I was like, it doesn't make sense to just ship like the three DVDs because um, nothing else has been there. But now we have Chungyun albums and I've merch on the way and some gravity photo cards. Somebody who lives in Korea is sending to me, which is super nice. But for today, today we have Chungyun. This is one of his blue um, version photo cards. So we're down to two US photo cards, two US photo cards and one um, jewel case card. So yeah, if you, if you ever see these cards, please let me know. These are super high priority cards for me because I'm only missing three from Overdrive and then I just need some Lucky Draws. So I just need the K-Town Lucky Draws. And then I did like set up for Chungyun's album, but we're not gonna go into that today because I don't have anything for it. Um, but it will be in the next um, binder maintenance video on my second channel setting up for his album. So definitely go subscribe over there if you are interested in binder maintenance content. Um, but yeah, that's it for CUNY today. And then Kihyun. So for Kihyun today, I just have two cards. Um, they are from his photo book release. When I bought Kihyun's merch, I um, only bought one mini L holder because for some reason I thought that there was only, like there was one set of cards, you'd get all the cards, which was not true. So I did go and buy the other cards on Poke Market. Um, they've just been sitting there for forever. So yeah, I still need, I think, I still need a couple pubs. Yeah, I haven't really seen them. I have, I need to start looking for them again. I think I've just been like trying to be slow with my Monstax collection because I'm like, well, we can uh, take our time because they're all in the military anyways. But I really do want to get a move on with this collection. Um, I have a lot for it. I'm just missing like, a couple of cards and then I do need to get his other two seasons greetings cards but besides that that is it for key today I need to work on some older stuff I just haven't yet this year I haven't been working on like current active groups let alone like older things so I really just need to like figure that out but anyways that's it for key hand today and that's it for monster x Next, we're gonna do 17. So much is happening with 17 right now. Just like, so much. Um, Jonghan and Scoops are back, which is just so amazing. I'm so happy to see them. Scoops has red hair, which is just, uh, it's just so amazing. I just love him so much and I'm so happy he's back. Um, and 17 are also making a comeback on April 29th with a best of album. So I'm really excited about that. So yeah, we really need to finish up. I need one more FML card, really. Oh, this one got canceled on me. That's right. I need to get that. Um, but yeah, we need to finish up what 
what's going on here <laughs> so for some reason i'm missing a couple of 526 cards i don't know what happened in the process of me trading it just it happened so anyways i have both jonghan and s coops's 526 selfie cards that i was missing and then i have this at the bayi warehouse because i could not find it on poker market um and i found it for like two dollars on Baye, so i just went ahead and bought that but this is like all i'm missing for this era i was gonna do pobs for scoops and then i would have to do nine pobs and i feel like with the comeback coming like i should just prep for the comeback and not worry about it especially because this album is gonna be expensive i do plan on collecting 95 line for this comeback um it doesn't look like it's gonna be too crazy of of a release um and then doing my top four for um weavers not weavers for um the member versions again they haven't announced a weavers version but like i don't trust hype <laughs> i don't trust blood is not to do a weavers version but i'm just kind of looking through here just to make sure like yeah because i ended up doing a dino page and like collected all three kinos instead um when i usually just collect scoops for kinos and i don't collect this much Dino from like the normal album versions normally so I did that instead of scoops pops this era and then target cards so cute I love this target card set but yeah so that's it I'm just missing that last scoops card to catch up with 17 here um but yeah that is it for 17 today just gonna have that one last card next time and then 17 will be all good until the next era so yay i probably will keep this cover though because i'm still so obsessed with this concept i'll probably keep this cover next we're gonna do unbi and y'all i have been making so much progress on unbi recently i am so so excited i'm so close to finishing her collection she is making a summer comeback she announced so um i'm thrilled i cannot wait and i really hope i can finish her collection before her comeback um that is my main goal right now is to finish this before her comeback but i think i can do it i don't think i have any open cards today i think i just have lethality and um color oh my gosh so we'll do color first so i have number one and number two for color which is so exciting oh my god freaking god <laughs> i cannot believe which one is one and which one's two this one's one um i cannot believe that i finally found these i also did find the other color card i was missing because i was missing three cards um which i think was number 10 maybe yeah number 10 so this one is also on the way to me insanity so yeah and then for open i do have the last open card on the way to me and then we'll be done with open which is literally insane like i cannot believe <laughs> we finished open um and then this one's on the way to me and that's it for color and then moving back to lethality oh these are all polka version cards so never mind there's nothing here no i'm missing three lethality cards but they're coming from various places I don't know. Anyways, um, so going back to the polka cards, I think this one is supposed to go here because it spells lethality. So like if you flip it over, cute, right? Um, and then what are my other backs? That's so sad. Like like that's how it's supposed to oh that's so sad what do i where do i put that like here maybe i don't know that's so sad um but yeah let's put this one here for number six two other of the yellow back cards so the amount of people who have like replied to my stories too and are so invested in this collection like i am like <laughs> I'm gonna put this one up here because it has the the last couple of letters there so we'll just do it like that one and then we'll just leave that spot there it'll say part of the word there but oh my gosh we're so close we're so close we are so close we're missing one poker version card um and it is coming from somewhere I have stuff at Bayou right now I have stuff coming from like Instagram sellers 
I just have stuff everywhere. Um, and then I got two of her Polaroids. So I don't really know where to put these. I'm missing one Polaroid so far and somebody um, had it and I messaged them and then they like didn't get back to me um, about it. Like they replied and then they just stopped replying. So I need to reach out to them again. I just feel bad because when I messaged them, they were like, oh my gosh, like I'm such a huge fan of your channel. Like I would love to just send it to you. So I don't want to reach out and be like, hey, are you still sending this to me? Because I originally reached out to like buy it from them. Um, and then the last lethality like album card, because I'm missing three, but I have two on the way. Um, the last miss, the last lethality card I reached out to someone and messaged them about it and I did not hear back at all from them. So if you if you ever see this photo card, please help me find it. It's literally <laughs> literally one of the like the last NB card that I need. Um so please, please help me find it. Help me finish NB. I'm so freaking close. I cannot even believe it. I just I really like gave up hope there for a while that I would ever be able to get this done. But the fact that I am so freaking close i would love to finish it before her comeback before my mid-year photo card update like i would just love to catch up with unbi and then like when she releases future albums i can just buy the album and collect one album like oh the dream really for me so anyways if you ever see that card um and then i'm gonna reach out to the other person to be like i will pay for the card like you don't have to send it to me but i just like want to know if you still have it you're still interested um in getting rid of it like anyways <sighs> big things big things are happening friends next we're gonna do treasure and i know we haven't seen the treasure binder in at all in 2024 i'm pretty sure i pretty much buy treasure cards exclusively on poker market so i've had a lot of cards sitting there for treasure for a long time like these are all from poker market and that's because treasure cards are so cheap on poker market they range from like one dollar to three dollars um so i pretty much exclusively buy treasure cards on poker market um so let's go ahead and flip through here because i am currently three cards away from completing treasure completely um the only reason i haven't yet is because they are the yg tag cards that's what they're called yg tag these are all some of these are sleeved incorrectly too oh man i have to go i have to get back into the habit of like i was so good at it at the beginning of this year at the end of last year just like going through my binders and fixing sleeves and pocket pages and i just like haven't been good in like a month and I need to just go through all my binders and fix sleeves and things um but yeah there's a couple YG tag cards that I am missing and they're just really expensive um okay so the first YG select card I needed to get Stongwu and Jihoon and I was able to find both of their cards on um Poker Market they were very cheap and I was like I don't want to spend a lot of money on these, um, but I do want to have them. So, yay. Yay for that. Um, it was really hard because I was like, they have to be the same back. And then here, I have some cards for this section as well. So, I needed a Jungwoo unit card. So, I bought one of his unit cards with Ruto. I think there's two of each of these cards, but I just like really don't care about these unit cards I just wanted to have like one of each of my biases pairings um and then we have Jihoon and Jongwoo's YG select cards from this era they have multiple YG select cards YG select is like Weverse like where different versions of the album will have different cards but like I just wanted the photo book cards so yay for that oh my gosh I've been wanting to is the wrong back no this is the wrong back shoot do i care no because they all look like the same concept so i'm just gonna leave it <laughs> they're all the same concept so it's fine um okay moving on to reboot which is treasure's most recent era oh my gosh it's been so long how do you how does one even reboot how does one even do that okay so this is Jihoon's lollipop selfie. And then I could have sworn that I had that Jungle concept card, but I guess not. That must be one of the cards I'm missing. And then 
these June Q selfies. I don't have these June Q selfies either. Really? Why do I have them marked off? I thought I was so close. No, I think those are some of the Jihoon cards that I missed. Oh, I need to double check. Editing Carolyn, pop up the templates because Editing Carolyn knows what's going on, but current Carolyn doesn't. I guess I could grab my iPad. Let me grab my iPad. <laughs> you can tell that I was just working on editing my TXT um, thumbnail for the video that uploaded 30 minutes ago. Wow, let's see. I haven't looked at my treasure templates in so long. Okay, let's see what I'm actually missing. No, I have those Q cards marked off. What the heck? Are they on Makari Japan maybe? Cause these are these two cards and then, yeah, I have that jungle card marked off too. Where the heck were those cards coming from? Do, what do I, I have nothing left for Jihoon. What the heck? That is so weird. Okay, I need to do some investigating figure out what happened there. Anyways, here are the other two selfies for this YG tag version. So Jihoon and Jongwoo's. YG tags are so annoying. <laughs> and the past two eras I've been saying like no more, but I know that when Treasure make a comeback, I probably will pick that up again. Um, and then here we have this Jihoon card. Nice. And then I knew I was missing these two Jun Qs. I thought those were the last cards that I was missing. Well, I'll have to do some investigating. Okay, and then for this, um, I did get the last couple Ji Hoon cards that I needed. So this one goes here. Yay. And then this one. Does this one go here? Yes, this one goes here. He just has a blue background instead of a purple background for some reason, but that's okay. Um, and then this flower card. Oh my gosh, this was the most expensive trading card. I almost didn't buy it on Poke Market because I was like, why is this so expensive? Um, but it was the last card I needed to finish this set. So yay, the Night Garden is done. I think there's one set of cards that I'm missing from this. So it's not like completely complete, but it's complete with what I want to get from it. So yay. I don't usually collect like treasure stuff either like this, but I bought these while I was in Korea. So it took me a long time to finish these, <laughs> but I bought these while I was in Korea at the YG um, basement merch store that's across the street from the YG building. But anyways, yeah. That was fun. So I need to figure out what's going on here. Okay, so let's look. We have one Jongwoo concept card that I'm missing from version two. Both of Q selfies from version three, which is so weird that that's missing. Um, and then the two tag version selfies for Q, And that's it. I do have like his postcards coming from Bai. And I usually like, usually when I'm buying something on Bai, I look for multiple things from a group. So I wonder if maybe those photo cards are there and I just like didn't realize it. I don't know. I need to do some investigating. Cause like I said, stuff has been sitting at the Bai warehouse for most of the year so far. So there's some very old stuff there. But anyways, that's it for treasure today. Somebody was telling me on Twitter the other day that Treasure are rumored to have a comeback in like June or July. It's YG Entertainment, so I honestly am not holding my breath for it, but would love to be done with Reboot before their next era. Again, I am all caught up besides Reboot right now, so it would be great to just like be done and be able to just collect like the newest era for Treasure, especially because they aren't making like three comebacks a year anymore. They're making like one or two if we're lucky um which is just honestly stupid but it's yg entertainment so like what else do you expect you know those are my feelings about yg entertainment um but yeah that's it for this binder today all right so we're gonna do stray kids next again i only have a couple of things for them because we're kind of in between eras and i need to do some work on my chungbin collection um but i do have some stuff coming hopefully i don't have it for some reason i feel like i already have it but Oh, I don't. Okay. Also, Lino is crooked. So, yay. For that. Yay. Love that. Um, 
and I need to like buy some bundles for this. Changbin is going well, but not like, I don't know. I kind of wish I was a little closer to being done at this point, but yeah, I, my goal is to just to have like Changbin done before the next era because I just don't want to be back collecting old Stray Kids cards, except for like Chan and Lino Pobs because I'm always back collecting Chan and Lino Pobs. But yeah, that's it for this binder. We do have to go into Stray Kids 2 though, so let me grab that. How is Stray Kids 2 so heavy already? I need to get them a merch binder. I'm waiting for them to announce a comeback for me to do it. Um, and I know it's on the way. Like, I just feel it in my bones. I really do. So let's go back here. So finishing up the Nemo card. Not completely finishing them today, but we're making progress. So I have Hyunjin and I also have Changbin here. So I think Jisung is the only member I'm missing because somebody is sending me Linos. So if you have Jisung's Nemo version, I would love to like buy it from you or trade something for it. Um, I just want to finish these Nemo cards. I also need to secure them a little better. Again, these aren't like my favorite things that they've ever released. I really hope for the comeback the Nemo albums don't have this. Like I would have much preferred a selfie card as much of a pain as that would be if JYP did what Twice got and gave us like one random selfie card for three different versions of the Nemo albums. At least they wouldn't be weird circle shapes. So anyways, I have Lino on the way and then I do need Jisung still. So if you have him, let me know. Um, but yeah, that's it for Stray Kids today. There's not a lot that I'm missing in this binder. There really isn't anything I'm missing in this binder besides that. So yeah, and then I just need one more set of China Mino Pobs to fill up the pop binder for this era. So I'm gonna get those on my next uh, Makari Japan shopping um, adventure. So anyways. And we just wait for comeback news. Hopefully not too soon because there's just a lot happening right now <laughs> and I'm a little afraid. But um, anyways, that's it for this. All right, next we're gonna look through NCT. Now I don't have anything for Dream's newest comeback, but I have a lot of 127 stuff to put away today because I need to catch up. So I don't know what happened with this era, but for some reason, I just like didn't get any of the Johnny cards that I thought I was getting for AO. So like, I don't really know how that happened. So I went and I bought those from Poke Market. I ended up picking up the four AO Johnny cards I still needed. I knew I needed this one, um, but I didn't realize I was missing these other three as well. So let me just make sure they match up with Jungwoo. So this is Johnny's version B card. And then this card. I wonder if I have these backwards. Because I feel like this one's his Digipack card. But it matches up with this Jungwoo. I don't know. I'll have to double check. I don't think I have my AO templates anymore. But I'll need to double check that. And then this is Johnny's Smini version card. Which does match up with that jungle so that works so yeah i don't know why it took me that long to get these but then i have them now and then this make star card literally could not find it i could find every other member i don't remember how i ended up with jungle originally did i join a group order or what happened but i ended up with jungle and then yeah i needed to find johnny and it's been like impossible to find his make star card for this area era so I finally found it on Poke Market. I was so excited about it. Um, so yeah, this is all done now. AO is complete, finally, like three years later. <laughs> Just kidding. It hasn't been that long since AO, but it's probably been like a year. Let's see what else we have here. Um, I do need my template for fact check because all the backs are the same. So I need to double check that I'm putting these in the right spots. I found this template. I would have done AB Digipacks Mini. So these are in the wrong spot. Let me fix this real quick. Ayo era and Two Baddies era. I don't know what was happening. There's just, it was just a lot. Okay, let me switch these cards because, okay, better. Even though it doesn't really matter, it matters in my brain. So 
Anyways, all right, fact check era. I think I just have Johnny here. I'm pretty sure Jungle was coming from um, Makari Japan, but this is his storage card. And then this one should be his QR card. Yeah, it is. So his QR card. Yay, Johnny is done. Then Jungle's storage was like, I got a lot of these cards from Poke Market, by the way, because NCT is very cheap on Poke Market. So like Treasure, I buy a lot of NCT cards on Poke Market, especially because my members tend to be pretty cheap. Anyways, point is, this was like a very oddly expensive card on Poke Market. So I just bought it on Makari Japan and that's coming in that package. And then for Be There For Me, I just went ahead and finished like the album cards because yeah, I'll still need some like the Walmart card and then like whatever pub I want, but there weren't any like cheap pubs that I really was looking for. So this is his Johnny Stereo B card. And then his house card, it's this one. And then yeah, I don't have either of their Walmart cards yet or on the way or anything. And then I need these. And then also this should be hollow sleeves. Maybe I didn't have hollow sleeves when I was setting up for this, but anyways. Um, and then for Chongwu, I have the stereo A card. And this is his Smini card. And then again, I just need like a pop for Jungwoo and his Walmart card. And then be there for me, it will be complete. So excited about that. That's it for NCT today. I do have some stuff coming from Makari Japan for them, but I don't really know what pub I wanna collect. And so I just haven't gotten a pub yet, but I think it's gonna be a pretty slow year for like Johnny and Jungwoo cards. Um, I don't know, hopefully SM does something while like Taeyong and Taeyong are in the military, especially because Johnny doesn't need to enlist. And I think Taeyong is the only other 127 member who's enlisting this year that we know about. So hopefully the other members can still do something. It would be really sad if they just like hung out. I know that Doyoung is making a solo debut soon. And I think Jaehyun is also making a solo debut. Um, for their releases, I probably, like, I don't know, I might buy, like, a copy of it, but they're not part of my bias line, so I probably won't collect, really, anything for either of those releases, but obviously if, like, Johnny or Jung will do something, or if, like, Do Jung makes a comeback, which I hope so, because, like, Do Young and Jaehyun are both getting releases. Like, what about Jung? <laughs> Hopefully they also can, like, do something. But, yeah, otherwise it's just going to be the year of collecting Song Chan and Jano, even though Song Chan's not in NCT's and Rise, but, like, you know what I mean. Anyways, that's it for this binder today. All right, so we have the ZV1 binder, and we actually have stuff for a couple of different sections. I have some I've large inclusions to put away. I have some gravity cards to put away today, so and some ZB1 cards, so exciting. Um, ZB1 announced their comeback at KCON Japan, which like, of course they did. Um, kind of sad though, because the last time they announced a comeback, I was in the room, and this time I wasn't in the room, because obviously it was in Japan. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up with my ZB1 collection. I haven't done a lot for the Matthew Pob page from Youth in the Shade. Yeah, I don't have anything for that, but I hopefully can soon. These are all the album cards I have to put away today. I do have Matthew and Gonok's other loyalty version cards. Kind of crazy how I finished Hanbin first for them, for this version at least. There's that. And then for my extra set, I have the lenticulars in the middle for this. For the mystery version, I do have Matthew's other mystery card. And I did end up buying a pop set. It's not the Everline Lucky Draw set, but it is I think it's the With Mew pre-order benefit set. But anyways, that's coming from Makari Japan. So this will be complete when that package comes in. And then for the fairy tale version, I actually was able to find a trade and I was gifted um, Matthew cards. So that's very exciting that I have both of Matthew's fairy tale cards. And then I am hopefully getting these Christmas cards soon. The group order has been um an experience basically um they open for five sets of these um pobs or lucky draws rather and they only bought three sets so i had to buy hanbin on makari japan i'm getting a refund um for hanbin's card i still was able to get Konok and matthew from my claims but i did have to go buy hanbin um they sent me proof of the cards i I have to check and see if there's like another form open because I think they opened like EMS or something. 
I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> hopefully I should finally be getting these cards soon. Um, and then this will be done. And then I did set up for like Matthew's Japanese cards. Oh, this is for, this is for, um, melting point pobs. So I was able to buy this make star pub on the poke market for like super cheap so i want to have a nine pocket of matthew pubs i just haven't gotten around to getting that yet but i'm trying to like keep an eye out for like cheap cute pubs and then i'm gonna buy them but yeah so if you have any extra like matthew pubs from melting point or youth in the shade that you're looking to sell um, I am looking to fill up these pages. I don't really have a preference for his pobs really at all. There's certain ones that I really like. Like I love the K-Town For You pob where he's holding the candy. So I definitely want to get that one. And then there's like a couple of other pobs that I'm like really interested in. But I really just want to like have a page of Nine Pocket page full of pobs for him. Um, and then I don't know if I have really a but for this that's for the japanese release we'll do that next time and then i do have this so i didn't realize that i was missing one of matthew's trading cards from this fan con so i went ahead and bought that so we have this and then i'm just gonna reorganize this cute and then I have one more card and I am completely out of nine pockets, but I do want to store this today, but I don't know where to put it. But it's Matthew's um, fan club card from the first gen Zeros fan club. And I don't know where, I don't know where it should go. I think I'll put it on the, on this pod page for right now. And then I'll go ahead and move it when my new nine pocket pages come in. So yeah, I'll just put it there for right now, but I did want to get that in store. I meant to join the fan club, and I just kind of missed the deadline, so it's fine. We still have Matthew's card from it. It was very, it was very cheap, so that's it for ZV1, but we still have a lot more to do in this binder. So moving on, we have Ive Girlies. I don't have any small inclusions for them today, but I do have some large inclusions, so that's fun. Okay, so basically... Um, somebody was selling a bunch of their extra large inclusions from I've Mine on Instagram and I reached out to them and was able to buy a bunch, which is super fun. So yeah, I still am missing a couple of photos, but here is Ray. And then I'm still missing Wan Young from this set. This set I have Eugene for the either way version. I'm missing Wan Young from this as well. And then I have the last three Batty version photos so that's exciting that i finished batty version and then Wan young my first Wan young photo um and then i also have iso ivor making a comeback soon too and i'm so excited i need to like set up my binders and pre-order some albums i'm gonna do it when i get paid this week yeah i am looking forward to it and then moving back to the loved i version which there's a loved i version for this album as well so i feel like it's gonna become like a staple in ive's discography is just like having the loved i version every single time but i do have both Ray and Iso's Polaroids from the Loved Ive version for Ive Mine. Just for time's sake in this video, I'm not going to put the stickers on, but I will um, do that off camera just because we still have a bunch to do. Uh, actually, I might put Iso the other way so her and Liz are facing the same way. But yay, so I just need those two Wan Young photos from the off the record and the either way version, and then I will be done with I have large inclusions for this era. I will have done it. <laughs> we will have completed it. Okay, and then let's go back to Cravity. So here's the deal with Cravity, right? I got gifted a ton of Cravity cards in the mail, which is like actually insane and y'all are so nice for wanting to gift these to me i don't have any nine pocket pages as we've discussed and i cannot set up for like older eras like pre sunseeker eras um so we're going to put away the sunseeker cards and that's it yeah i don't have space for the other cards currently um but next Next time we do one of these, I will. And then I'm also getting some some cards from their most recent era. Somebody is gifting me the Starship Square benefits for it, which is so kind. But they live in Korea, so they sent it to my Korean address. But anyways, 
I am gonna go ahead and do this because, well, this is masterpiece. I don't think I have any masterpiece. No, I don't, okay. But yeah, I figured we could go ahead and store these cards because I do have spaces for them. So, except these are all, this is his digipack and then his, or no, one of these is the digipack and the other one is the Starship Square benefit, which I wouldn't want to do first. Oh man, this isn't going to make any sense. And then I also have Alan and Minnie's unit card. I only collect Alan and Minnie unit cards for Gravity, so I'm just going to put that in the middle and then... Oh man, I have too many Allen cards too. <laughs> oh, this isn't gonna make any sense putting these away. Well, I'll put this one here, I guess. Oh man, all right, this is gonna make no sense, but I've already shown you guys the cards, so I don't wanna like not put them away. I hate when people do that, when they like show the cards and they're like, just kidding, I'm not putting these away. So like, I wanna put them away, but I just like physically don't have the space for it. Um, and then I guess, let me just do these two cards in the middle, but we're definitely going to have to move that or move this around when I set up for Cravity Fully. I just wasn't expecting like to get older cards so soon. So, so I was like, oh, I have time to set up for that. Um, but then let me just put this Allen card here and then I'll go through and label this properly. I thought that I had set up enough spaces for all the cards for Sunseeker, but I guess that's not true. But anyways... So these are really cute. I'm really, really grateful for the person who sent these to me. There's a couple of people who sent them to me, actually. Um, I do plan to back collect Minnie and Alan, and I'm a little nervous about it. So yeah, if you ever see any good bundles or anything popping up, um, let me know, because I would love to buy these like in bulk, in like bundles. But yeah, that's it for Cravity for today. This is a ginormous binder. Um, since the last time we spoke, I did actually make a template for the missing Sana and Dahyun cards that I need. So that's fun. That's on my trade sale Instagram now. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on here. <laughs> so let's go back here. Okay, so I've got a decent amount of twice cards to put away which is very exciting. So we have Sana and Nyan for this set. I'm so excited that we finished this set. It is so cute. Definitely one of my favorite twice OT9 sets ever. So Nyan and Sana, cute. Um, this set has been done. This set I was just missing Momo. I wonder if she's in this stack of cards. She is, oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Momo, yay, the set is done. And then this set I needed Jonghyun and Sana. So there's Jonghyun. So it should be, these sets are so confusing. It should be this Jonghyun and this Sana. Yeah, cause I have Jonghyun and Sana on the next page too, so. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Finishing OT9 twice. This was actually pretty painless considering the fact that I like was barely a human during this era. <laughs> the fact that I was able to like do this at a really reasonable pace. I think I am missing Mina from this page still, which is unfortunate. That means that she either got lost in the mail or just, I don't know what happened. So that's unfortunate. So if you have Mina from the set, um, please let me know. That's unfortunate. I really did think we were finishing this today, but it's fine. Um, no, no, yay. And then for the target cards, um, I should have the last four I needed. I needed Tui, Momo, Jonghyun, and Nayeon. Yes, yay love when that works out <laughs> love when i don't trade for duplicates so really for the photo book version i just need that one mina so if you have her please let me know i really want to get this set done and yay so here's the full target set i think i am going to put like the far away card so like mina and the in the middle just so that it makes more sense and is more like visually appealing so 
yay. Would have made more sense if it was like Jonghyun, Jihyo, and Taeyong in the middle, far away, but you know, JYP doesn't think about our binders, so <laughs> so we just gotta we just gotta adapt and adjust. But so happy that Target card set is done. And then for the digi pack, I do have three digi pack cards. So I'm just missing Momo. Um, so hopefully I can find her soon. I don't think I have her like on the way or anything. Like I think I am actually uh, missing her. Yes. Um, Jungyeon. Sana. This Jungyeon card was actually a gift, which was so sweet. Somebody was gifted it and they were like, I already had it though. So can I re-gift it to you? And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so nice of you to think of me. Um, but yeah, I'm still missing Momo. So hopefully I can get her. And then on this page, I have Sana and Dewey. So I'm just missing Tahyan for this page. We're so close. One Pov and one selfie card and one photo book card. And then obviously this still needs help, but I haven't really looked for this at all. Um, I need to my next Macari shopping video, I need to like buy the rest of these cards so that I can finish this. Yeah, cause I would really, really like to finish this page. And then this is like the last thing I'm doing for this era. So then we'll be all done until the next twice era. Um, also, I have a couple of large inclusions. Yeah, so I ended up getting all three of my biases signed postcards this era, which is so exciting. So I have Sana and then Jihyo who signed on the back and then Tahyun who signed on the front. So I don't know why some members signed on the front and some signed on the back. Um, also, obviously I'm sleeving these postcards when I don't normally sleeve larger inclusions just because they are signed, but I find that I get more use out of them um, being in my binder versus like being displayed somewhere because like one, sun damage and two, um, it just kind of bulks up my shelves and like makes them look really busy and I don't really love that look. But yeah, that is everything for this video. I'm so excited. I feel like I'm making so much progress. I feel like this was a really, really fun one. So I do hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's about an hour and a half right now, but I don't know how long it's going to be after editing, but thank you so, so much for watching. Thanks again for being patient with me so far this year. I do hope to come back like full force starting this month, um, posting lots of content and short form videos. I used to post short form videos every single day and I don't anymore. And I really would love to get back into the habit of doing that, but yeah, so I'm excited um, to post more content, get back into sorting photo card videos, get some more packages in the mail, some Korean address hauls, some um, Macari Japan hauls and things. Um, and then I'm excited for all the comebacks coming too. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.